You are watching an AC Media production. Coming up this week on The Choice. Hey, welcome this week's a choice. This week we're heading up to, it's more like a, from here it'd be north and east. Right, but if you Quebec. lived in like New York, it'd be north. Maine, it might just be north. Yeah, anyways, mm -hmm. we're heading up to Anacostia Island. The Deer Hunters Fantasy Island, and you know yes. why we say that? Because you're short and you say the plane, the plane. No? Hey, no. this week's lucky logo is Realtree. Realtree. <laughs> now you want to look for the logo, but remember, if you're wearing Realtree, yeah. you won't be seen anyways. Good point, but can they see the logo? Yes. Okay. So, anyways, Zendo's going to head up first. He's going up yes. to Surf Sal. Surf Sal. He's got a bunch of traveling getting up there, and let's just get going with Z, shall sure. we? Sure. Z. All right. And a copy. <laughs> well, Zendel and I just arrived in Montreal. Holiday Inn uh, shuttle came through. Me and Z's going to head over to Holiday Inn, get some Z's tonight. That didn't sound good. <laughs> then tomorrow morning, off to Surf Sal. How are you? When you arrive on Anacostia Island, it's actually change out day. There's a group of hunters coming off the island as you're going on. The guides and the outfitters are taking your gear off the plane and they're filling the plane back up with their gear and their deer meat. We met Gino, our guide, and he took us to camp, which was situated right on the seashore. And we spent the evening shooting our rifles. And we took the cameras down on the, down on the beach to film some of the, the scenery. And we actually saw some foxes and a beautiful buck. That night we had a great surf and turf meal and the next day we were gonna start chasing those Anacostia bucks. Well, it's our second day here at uh, Anacostia Island with Surf So. Gino's got us a mile off the road at least. Yesterday Gary hunted, we had uh, a few does, nothing to really shoot at. Today's gonna be different, it's beautiful and clear. Gino's got us in a hot spot and uh, we're gonna make it happen today. What do you wanna set up at? Right here. It's, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Gino brought us to this nice little opening. We're gonna to try to rattle. We've rattled a couple times. Haven't had any results. This is a nice clearing. The fog's rolling through. It's a beautiful day. It's just we haven't seen the deer we need yet. Slip around the corner. Yep. Try it around. Okay. I see him. I'm gonna have to move my sticks. Stop it. Hey!
Uh, he didn't make it out of the field. It's a nice shot. Thank you. Thanks to you. Good calling. <laughs> Good spot. Let's go see what we got. Oh. That's a nice deer. Look at this. Big body. I think I scared him, Gino. <laughs> There's not a mark on him. <laughs> this is our second day here on the Anacostia Island with Soso Outfitters. Gino's been our guide for the last day and a half and uh, we've got to see a lot of the island. He did an awesome job bringing this buck in. Came right into the horns. Started to walk right up the edge, right, it was gonna be right in front of us and he started to cut downwind to get downwind of us. And uh, we caught up with him first. Beautiful day, we got the rest of the day. We still got two and a half days to hunt. And uh, we get this one cleaned up, get him out of here and start all over again. Great time. <laughs> Way to go, Z. Congratulations, that's pretty cool. You know, he, he's, he's, pretty, he's doing a lot of damage with his TC. He is, you're right. Now, don't go anywhere, because when we come back, I believe it's you, Joe, Freddie, and I are all heading up there to see Together? what we can do. Yeah. The Remember, island it was, it was will cold. never be the same. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the choice. It's our turn. It's our turn. My turn. It's your turn, actually. Yes, yeah, you're up really first. Is. I think that's the order it went in. Didn't you know it? what I like is Anacosta. You have either you're stand hunting, right, or you're spotting and stalking. Right. When I got that TC in my hand, I, I want to spot stalk. Yeah, I know. Well, it was really cold up there too. It was chilly. You know, it I mean, was, you got to suck chill. up and take it for the team, Vic. Where did that come from? I mean, just hey, it's not that bad. We spotted some deer, had a doe and two, two yearlings here. We've got two deer here, we think one's a doe. Can't tell the other, it's closer towards the timber. And it's a little bigger body, so we'll see. We're gonna move a little further and see what happens. When your wife asks you, hey honey, I wanna go to the beach, <laughs> this is a hunt you could take her on because we literally shoot these whitetails eating kelp on the beach. Well, Jill brought us, Jill brought us, we started over there with the wind, then the wind shifted so we had to come back around, we come back around, we come up over, we stopped, we looked, he's a nice buck, he's a beautiful Anacostia Island buck, and he's down right there. <laughs> Happy for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. So maybe it might be a little chillier than she expected, but... She's on the beach. What has she got to complain about? Beautiful. Well, look at that, Jill. Another beautiful Anacosta buck. Yeah. Yeah. Our first morning. You know, a lot of people think Anacosta, they see some of the bucks. And today's world, we're talking, we all, you know, everybody wants this. Uh -huh. But the reality of it is, is, I mean, the experience this this island is unbelievable you get this island in your soul and i'm going to tell you something you're going to be coming back and back and back because it's 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 not the size and it really isn't it's it's the whole experience that we're spotting and stalking in these swamps there's deer everywhere and you just it's amazing it's absolutely amazing unbelievable thank you my friend that's a good start thank you it's a very good start <laughs> don't go anywhere because when we come back the guys are up and Put another guys. one for Ralph. The guys. Am I up? No. I know. Why? 
Let's just uh -huh. go with my... Welcome back to The Choice. And as you know, we're in Anacostia Island and well, I just finished mine and now, yeah, now it's- now it's Joe's turn. It's Joe, it really- It should have been my turn. I was just a little slow. Slow. Well, Freddie and I have been hunting all morning with the cowboy and Ralph Vicky been out with uh, Jill. And uh, we hooked back up on the beach and Ralph had shot a nice buck and it was a, uh, about time we all headed off to another area we decided to basically carpool with the ATVs. And uh, it was actually Vicky's turn to hunt now and I was still hunting. And all of a sudden the guy started hollering, cut the motor, cut the motor. They'd seen this buck out on the beach. So it was actually Vicky's turn, but she wasn't quite ready. So uh, I was batter up, man on deck, and we we're gonna see if I can make it happen with a 300 wind mag. I'm on him. Anacostia Island, baby. <laughs> when you want to come somewhere and hunt with a group, this is a place to do it, isn't it, guys? <laughs> I will be careful. There might be another one. He was looking back. Hey, Joe. Congratulations. <laughs> this is kind of hey, fun, huh? Let's go check him out. Good shot. Thanks, Thanks, Stefan. Thanks, cowboy. See something that poof right on the beach. Oh man. Great hunt. You know so, the thing is, is it's it's so cool because you have an opportunity to do this with everybody like this. You know, we're in a we're in a trail going together to go down to the river. Yeah. And uh the uh we're, we're on our way to the river and uh all of a sudden bam, you guys see this guy coming down the beach. So we stop everything. <laughs> Cut the motors, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, the buck is uh, on a sandy point there, and uh, we've tried from every way to get there, but the tide is high, river too, so we just can't cross with the four wheeler. So I'll take a nice little swim to get that buck <laughs> from the other side. So we'll have He's time. Whacked. <laughs> He's whack. He's <laughs> whack. Ah, I'm trying to start a fire because Stefan. We'll come back and we'll be all wet, that's for sure. When we shot this buck, he's actually on the coast, right on a peninsula, uh, uh, on the edge of a river. And, uh, we didn't expect to have to swim across this. The ATV should cross it, and the tide came in. So Stefan volunteers to go ahead and cross the river <laughs> instead of and swim this river. And I didn't argue with him because, man, there's ice floating on this river. And you got a guy to swim across an icy river to get a buck for you, you got a good dude. And we figured out real quick, his name is Cowboy, because we figured he'd run back across the river with that deer. He stopped and posed in the middle of the river with this buck, proud as a peacock. And uh, we knew how he got the name Cowboy, because this guy was a rebel. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. This is Anacostia Island, sitting on a beach in seaweed, shooting white-tailed deer. Doesn't get any better than that. Shared it with Ralph, Vicky, Freddy, Jill, Stefan the Cowboy. Memories are made in places like this, man. Nowhere else I've ever been could you go sit on a, on a beach and shoot whitetail. I won't forget this hunt. Don't go anywhere when we come back. We've got the emotional one, Freddy, up. And let me see, now Joe and Ralph both took bucks. Yes, and... Moi. Welcome back to the choice. And now Freddy's up on the Jupiter River. You know, and, and on the Jupiter River, people don't realize or know that that's like a five-star rated salmon stream. Yeah, it is. And there's I a mean, lot of people that try getting up there, but we're deer hunting. Yep. Yeah, okay. So we should talk deer hunting and Freddy should get hunting. Freddy, get it done. Day three here on Anacostia Island. We're set up here on the river. Up the river about 100 yards is a real good crossing. The deer are finally starting to migrate towards the seashore to eat that sea kelp. So we're set up here. There's a lot of tracks on the trail we came in on, on the ATV. So we're set up here and hopefully we're gonna catch a deer crossing this river on his way to the seashore to eat. Let me tell you something. 
The Jupiter River is by far the most breathtaking spot I've ever had the opportunity to deer hunt. Um, you know, it, it's an awesome backdrop for deer hunting, but it's also a uh, world-renowned salmon and trout fishery. All right, we just spotted our first deer of the morning. It's feeding up here along the edge of the river. And what's nice is we've actually got a couple options here. If it's a buck, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. But if it's a doe, our guide Stefan is gonna shoot her. He needs me to take back home and fill the freezer and he's got a doe tag. So either way, if it's a doe or a buck, hopefully we'll be able to get up here and slip in on it and get it shot, so. So uh, Cowboy and I were together and uh, we were hunting the Jupiter River, like I said. And uh, we were making a game plan. We had stopped, he rattled a little bit in a couple different spots. And uh, we set up on some different crossings and nothing really quite worked out. Uh, so we decided to get up and move. And boy, am I glad we did because it was starting to get cold. The temperatures were dropping that day and it was getting cold fast. As we got up there, we came around the corner and Cowboy spotted a real nice buck standing on the other side of the river. And I was able to get up there and put my TC Icon and my Nikon crosshairs right on his shoulder. Okay, 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 there he is. Okay, there he is, he's looking right at us. You got him, Joe. You got him. Here we go. He's down. He's down. Oh, baby. Oh. Big anti-casty buck oh, in Jupiter good River. Lord. That's what we've been trying. Man. Jupiter River. Great job. Now who's going to swim? I'm going to swim. Man, oh man. That was, that was crazy fast. Stefan knew that there was a good run here crossing the river. And, uh, we went up this run to see what we could see. Oh, Stefan. Way to be, brother. Good thing. We'll circle the island and get in the other way. Okay. He's, he's done. Our guide, Stefan, you can see Cowboy over there across the river. He said my buck's laying right there, so he had to put on his hip waders and get that buck. It's hard. You're, you're going to be hard pressed to find a guide that in one week is going to swim an ocean for a buck, cross a waist high river for another buck. That dude right there is, he is a great guy. People like him are few and far between. We like it wet, eh? That's right. I love it wet. Yeah. Well, here he is, a great Anacosti buck, you know. It, you don't come up to Anacostia to shoot monster deer. You're not going to see 150, 160 class deer. You come up to Anacostia for the experience. The deer here are plentiful. And look at the background. I mean, where else in the world can you hunt on an ocean's coast? You hunt beautiful river valleys like this that have rock cliff ledges. And, you know, it's about the experience. This is the deer hunting that we all grew up, you know, doing. It's about, it's about the people at camp and it's about great people, great guides like Stefan and Jill and Patrick and killing a deer is just the icing on the cake. You know, like I said, he's, he's not my biggest deer. This deer means as much to me as any other deer I've ever shot in my life. Just an awesome time up here on Anacostia Island. It, hard to beat. It's really, really hard to beat. Congratulations, Freddie. That hey, was awesome. Hey, Freddie, let me see that. Jill, three guys go up, one girl. Three mm -hmm. guys take their bucks, one girl doesn't. That's because I let you guys take your deer so you guys won't cry about the whole way home. Hey, Jill, up at CPAC Anacostia, we really appreciate everything oh, buddy, that you did for us so while we much. were up there. And Surf Sal, thank you for letting Zeri, Gary and Zendel head up there also. You know, most of all, Quebec has some great uh, hunting opportunities. They do. And they're close by. They are. It's a drivable area. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not Anacostia because you'd get wet. But mm -hmm. hey, if you happen to see the real tree logo, well, you can't see it because it's so concealed. Okay, log That's on to choicetv.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from Realtree. Yes, and don't forget next week, well, we're heading, it's be now, this will be Northwest. We're going to Trophy West, Vancouver Island with Glenn and the guys. And, well, you don't want to miss next week's show. We've got some unbelievable footage. That's right. We've got some great bear hunts coming up next Can week. Can you say charge? 
What's that? Like a credit card. No, we're we not. We want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. <laughs>